Today on Growing Idaho, playing the waiting game in order to buy a home is getting tougher and tougher. Despite home prices staying pretty much level in our area, it would still take the average local family more than six years to save enough money to buy a home in Ada County, and that's being generous. But can families even afford to pay their rent while they're saving to actually buy? The dream of home ownership is still that, a dream for a lot of folks in our area. Let's take a look at some numbers from the census and Intermountain MLS. The median household income for Ada County is almost 84 grand. Now, if that family could save 20% of their gross annual income, that works out to almost 17 grand a year. And believe me, I know that's a huge if. But if they can save that, it would still take them more than six years to save enough to make the standard down payment of 20% on an average home. That 20% allows you to avoid mortgage insurance and lower the monthly payment. It would take less time in Canyon County to save that, but it would still be a pretty long haul. And while a family is waiting to buy, they're likely renting. Rent over the past few years is way up, so that's one more obstacle. Also, a median household income means that half of the households in our area are making less than that 84 grand. Some families are making much less. So for them, forget about saving 20%, 10%, or really anything, they're living paycheck to paycheck. They're gonna need affordable housing. But unfortunately, according to Nikki Hellenkamp, Mayor Lauren McLean's housing advisor, we just don't have nearly enough of that right now. And we're not the only ones. This is something that cities all across the country are dealing with. But what is affordable housing? It's a question we get a lot. Generally, if a family making 80% of the AMI can afford housing, it's considered the top end of affordable. A household is cost burdened if they're paying more than 30% of their income for housing. Bottom line, housing could be considered affordable if it costs about $1,677 a month. That's for a family making 67 grand, which is 80% of the AMI. But again, that's the top end. There are plenty of households making about 30% of the area median income, around 25 grand, and their rent can be no more than 629 bucks. About one out of every seven families are at that level. Think like a single preschool teacher with two kids. Finding a place affordable for them, to put it mildly, is a major challenge. And it illustrates that this community doesn't just need affordable housing, we need all sorts of affordable housing. For to be a city that is for everyone, we have to really mean everyone. We do need to ensure that there are housing options for people at every budget. Maybe you're in a position where you own your own home and you're comfortable with the payment. So how does this housing crisis affect you? Why should you care? Housing affordability is important in our community, not only for the sake of our residents who need affordable places to live, but also for our employers who need to be able to recruit employees. It's also about our climate, that we need to make sure that we have safe, affordable homes that are close to where people work and play so that they're not spending all their time in their cars. It's also an issue you know, related to the basic health of our residents, that when people have a place they can afford to live, they are able to spend their money on healthier foods, on uh, needed medical costs. There are so many ways in which this, uh, this issue impacts our lives and our community. Helen Camp also stresses that any progress made on this front, affordable housing around the nation, has been made by cities, counties, the state, and the federal government all working together. And that's not only that they would be sharing public funding, but working collaboratively. So those tax dollars are being used efficiently to help the most people get into housing. As always, sorry about the bad news. Maggie?